Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we got a special opening. It's the Paldea Evolved, the latest set from Scarlet and Violet. So let's crack this open. It's been a while since I've done an unboxing, but glad to be back and I'm excited for this set. Uh, obviously, everyone wants to grab the Iono, who is one of the gym leaders in the latest Scarlet and Violet game. Uh, she's the influencer gym leader who has jagged shark-like teeth. So, hopefully we hit one of those. Um... I don't necessarily need the special illustration rare, either the full art or of her, I'd be very happy of. And of course, with the trainer gallery-like cards, there's also the Paldea starters. So um, it's Fucoco, Quaxley, and Sprig, Sprigatito, whatever the, the green cat is called. I started the game and I went with the water type, the Quaxley. So first pack here. Let's see what we get here. We got a Magikarp. These are the commons. Slowpoke. Litleo. Rockruff, Poopitar, Faulkner, Saviper, uh, Reverse Hollow Great Ball, and a Floragato, and Slut King. Slut King is our Hollow. Uh, We'll start off the packs a little bit slower, but hopefully we can pick it up once we see some repeats. Um, I'm following the sets a little less closely now, so I actually don't really know what's even in this set prior to opening it. Um, haven't really finished the game yet either, so a lot of these things I haven't seen yet. I think I may be at most one third of the way in. So, watch roll. Tink, tink a tink. Shrudel. Glimit. Passimian. Reversal energy. Therapeutic energy. Interesting name. Pliper. That's an uncommon, Miss Gagmus, and Baxcalibur. Moving along. I picked this box up today. Um, it's Monday, June the 5th, and I picked it up at my local 401 Games in Toronto. Vaughn location in particular. And they're always reliable. Um, maybe not the lowest price, but I can count on them having it on the Monday uh, prior to the official release, which is this Friday. Quaxley, that's my starter. Tinkatink, Pinchurchin, oh, that's nice. It's Yukimori artwork, which I collect. Uh, Makuhita, Satitan, Corviknight, Dunsparce, oh, nice choice belt reverse that's playable. And this is my first, uh, I think they're called Illustrator Rares now. Yeah, this is Flamigo, that's nice. Tyranitar. And energy. Opening up these 
these the packs go uh, with intent not to rip them since I like to collect the different pack arts even though they are open packs. Tedesmos, Citadel, Knackley, Fucoco, Delivery Drone, Ferrigoriff, Spidops, Wingull, Mastiff, Rabska, and Energy. Bit of a dud there. And a lot of Pokemon I'm not recognizing. I haven't seen them in the game yet. We'll say with the recent Pokemon Japan promo uh, featuring Yu Nagaba Evolutions. I did buy the expansion for the game, uh, the DLC, the downloadable content, uh, just to make my uh, minimum spending threshold to get the most promos I can. Tad Bulb, Giraffe Rig. Great ball, that's always useful. Uh, Relor, Pinchurchin, Zuelis, Mousehold, Calamitous Snowy Mountain, Rabska, Jumpluff. So I was saying um, with the DLC. I didn't realize, but the expansion doesn't come out till close to the end of the year. And it comes out in two parts. But just to make that minimum spend, I have that coming my way. And you know, personal goal to at least finish most of the game before the expansion comes out so that... Um, when that finally does roll out, I can focus on that rather than just making regular game progress. Next pack here, Char Cadet, Relor, Tad Blub, for the backs, Practice Studio, Florigato, Quaxwell, Reverse Hollow Magikarp, Tinka Tink. Gyarados. Wow, this is nice art for this normal hollow. But in the world of Pokemon, I'm still PSA grading some of my favorite cards. Um, a little less frequently but every month maybe I'm sending two cards set of dial Shrudel, phalanx jigglypuff oranguru electrode grafefe <laughs> oh nice Princhurchin. that will go nice in my um, yukimori collection tinkatuff Got another boss's orders for this generation. This is Getsus, which I haven't even encountered in the game yet, but always playable, so nice useful card. I am uh, playing the TCG a little bit more now. Um, today is actually the sunsetting of Pokemon Trading Card Game Online, the old app. And now, officially, the only way to play online is Trading Card Game Live. Dunsparce, Noibat. Uh, this is one of the other starters Brigatito, Quaxley, Corvusquire, Aratzion. Poros, got the Voltorb, Tadismus, Tinkaton, uh, interesting card, 
This is going to be the new GameStop promo starting this um, weekend as well. I'll be on the hunt for those GameStop Stint Tinkertons. So I was saying trading card game online. Uh, they now have a battle pass system. Um, there's not so much trading of the games, but you can craft whatever cards you need. So in preparation, I moved my collection from online to live now, and tonight I'll be uh, practicing my new deck, which I hope to play in person in the near future. Yukoko, Bramlin, Qfont, Krogunk, Kaliper, Fletchinder, Vigoroth, Dendra, that's nice. Not a full art though. Gothitha, and here is my first EX of the set. Skeledirje EX. <laughs> I can't even pronounce this guy. But it's interesting, I started mostly collecting, but now as I'm seeing how the game mechanics work and watching uh, different tournaments on Pokemon's live stream, the game is interesting me a little bit. So first deck that I hope to play in person is Mew. Snover, Fletching, Voltorb, Clavel, Iono, very nice. This is going to be a very playable card in the near future. Next stack. There's that uh, snowy mountain again. The wasteland. Oh, and this is probably my big hit of the box. Maelskarda EX. And something behind here as well. Annihilate EX full art. Big hit, double hit pack. On uh, live, you do get a battle pass. So the current battle pass features a Gardevoir deck, and I haven't really delved into that, but that's something I want to learn how to play as well. Of course, Lost Box and Arceus in its various forms. Rookity. Ooh, nice. Okacheke Pikachu. Slakoff. Watro, Brabblegas, Toxicroak, Crocolore, Fletching, Dino, and the Weevil. About one third of the way in now. trying to say with the PSA cards I'm still grading um, especially parts that I like myself uh, with the scarlet and violet base set I did pull one of the um, I call them alternative art still but there's a version of penny that is not the full art and that coming my way Mankey Delibird Nice uh, Christmas Pokemon. Super Odd. Love Disc. Azumarill. Vespiquin. Eskew. Makuhita. Luminous Energy. And Oracorio. And other than the Penny, I don't think I sent anything in. A little, you know, it's costly to grade, so you have to be choosy. And I'm trying to pick cards that I want to keep in my personal collection for 
long term. And Penny being a character that I do like in the game, that was one that I picked. Magnemite, Knackley, Nimble, Shinx, Grusha. That's a nice gym leader. Haven't met her yet. Primeape, Miss, Gag Miss Magnus, Snover, Love This Reverse, and a Vax Caliber. This is a second set with silver borders and you know, I think when that switch was made from the traditional yellow border to silver, um, people were talking about it just because it has changed. But now that I'm seeing them for some time, you get used to them pretty quickly. Hair across. Kilo Watro, Deli Bird Reverse. That is superior energy retrieval. Mimikyu, that's a pretty nice hollow rare. And for the trainer gallery like cards, I would say the silver borders probably do look better. Um, sometimes the the yellow it doesn't really go with the art colors and the theme, but silver. It's a little less um, of an eyesore, like it goes well with a lot of different colors, so I think at least for that kind of subset of cards, it is, um, it's doing it favors in terms of my own eye appeal. Um, but one thing I will say that I don't really enjoy when playing the game is you have a mix of some cars are silver, which are the newer ones, and then some that are yellow. We're kind of in this uh, phase of growing pains where you have a little bit of both. Tropius, oh, I remember this guy a lot from Shining Fates. Sneasel, High Grade On. So until. At least in standard, things rotate out completely. You can't have your deck entirely silver borders. And me coming from Magic the Gathering, um, you know, growing up, I used to play that slightly competitively, but I do recall building decks kind of with black border consistently, avoiding the whites. Um, it's kind of the same idea that I have here with Pokemon. If you can, you want them all consistently the same border. This looks better, but um, it's going to be a little while before I can complete that entirely. Giacomo. Giacomo Reverse. Ooh, here is another uh, Trainer Gallery card. Tinka Tink. And Spirit Tomb. So if we're looking for entirely silver border, might not be another year at least until that happens. And then, you know, people liking to flex because it's a little human nature. Um, you are still going to want to pick some of the older cards um, that have maintained relevancy just because you can. <laughs> the shown that you've been around for a little while. Oh, very nice. A Pikachu reverse, Okacheke. And it looks like we have a Wuchian. Um, I haven't encountered these guys in the game yet, so I must say they do have a bit of a weird name to me. I think they have some Asian influence, but 
until I find out their relevance, they are really not my favorites. I like some of the more unique names rather than something I can barely pronounce. So this is the last pack of the first half. Larvitar, Dino, Sandy Gas, Tarantula, another Dendra, Palosand, Raichu, Rukadi, Corvus Squire, and Obama Snow. I've got to say, these new guaranteed hollows. Um, Sometimes I get a little bit of a peek of what's behind it just because I can't really hold the card completely flat when I'm opening it. But because you get a little bit of a peek, it throws me off because I think there's something shiny and then um, it just being, you know, every pack you get a shiny. It's, uh, I get excited and then let down <laughs> when I pull a... A bomb of snow. But I think uh, that's just me not opening that many packs anymore. I think the new sets I'm just doing one box now. Some of the older sets that I was really excited for, I went like half a case, which is like three booster boxes. Um, little kind of dialing that back a little bit just because um, the cards seem to be pretty affordable rather than you having to chase opening packs now. Slow King, oh this is a nice card. It's got a little bit of texture to it. when I see a set that I'm really excited for I'll go back to opening a bit more but being that really um, you know maybe a handful of cards that I would really love in this set I think I'm okay uh, possibly buying that as a single later on but always fun to be cracking packs though I think uh, I haven't cracked packs in a while and I'm having quite a lot of fun doing this right now. Skip Loom. I'm only that. Oh, there's two Tauroses. There's a Paldean Tauros here and then Harayama. Other Pokemon related happenings, I guess. Um, you can see all of a sudden I am a Squishmallow collector. I didn't think I'd get into that, but the Pikachu, this the Gengar here, um, the Snorlax, they are quite adorable and that pulled me in. Super rad. Um, but no other real things to look forward to right now. Just, I guess, the next uh, sets, which are Pokemon 151. It looks very in Japan. We'll see how that gets unveiled in English. Um, there was that... Uh, Classic box featuring reprints of basic cards, but I don't know how I feel about that after they seem to massively print Charizard Ultra Premium Collection. And also, given that we just got a reprint in Celebrations, do we need another one? Gotta say, it's always a nice pull no matter what set it's in, those Charizard. Uh, Venusaur and uh, Blastoise, but 
how many can you have? Like, you're going to be pulling that every one to two years and just keep collecting the same card? <laughs> Seems kind of redundant in my collection. Oh, I just dropped my cards here, but good thing it wasn't uh, much of a pull. A fighting Ole. Pardon my French. And a Garganachi. Something else I follow fairly closely is what happens to Apple. Uh, today was WWDC, where they unveiled their new VR set. Um, obviously, the talking point is going to be the price point, 3500 US. Um, but me being a little bit of an older dude, I haven't really got into VR. Uh, my brother bought the Sony PlayStation VR 1 a while back, and yeah, it had its novelty. Like, uh, I mean, I think we had fun playing Beat Saber, but now it just kind of collects dust. And when they revealed the VR 2, didn't really uh, garner much interest for me. So... Now I gotta see the keynote for Apple, but um, I'm not sure I can really stay on the cusp of tech with VR. Um, I haven't had an experience where it really pulled me in yet, but I do like the iris scanner. I think. Um, that might be the next frontier in terms of a face ID for Apple. It'd be interesting to see if they can either uh, implement that into the iPhone, which I more regularly uh, update. Um, but with face masking, face ID did take a hit. And I find even now, when they can have a, ooh, I know no reverse. When they have a second, ooh, Grusha. So I guess this is gonna be my last big hit. <laughs> I do like full art supporters and um, if you get one, does that mean I'm not gonna get an Iono? Very nice art. This is probably one I'll keep for the personal collection. But I was saying, um, iris scanner, you know, even with face masking, um, you know, your eyes are obviously exposed. It'd be nice to have that feature, um, just cause, you know, whether you have a face mask on or not, it wouldn't affect your iris is being scanned, but you know, I don't know if it's processing intensive or they want to keep it in their top of the line products for now. Um, it might be a while before it finally rolls into the phones. Passimian Pomu Glimit Ooh, Chen Pao and Energy. Guess another hobby news. Um, I'm winding down a little bit of my sneaker acquisitions. Um, finding the collection has grown a little bit more than I'd hope. <laughs> and I 
get a little choosy in terms of what I'm wearing because uh, I like to beat them up a little bit before I move on to the next pair. And I did just open a new pair to, I guess you could say, commemorate a new job. Um, I started the jammed 991s and you know, at least I'd hope I'd get a good uh, six months of wear before I start looking into other pairs. Um, it seems like my work-related rotation is very jammed heavy now. Got the jammed A6, got the jammed 990V3 in the Aller. And on deck, I still have those same 990s in the brown. I might want to open up soon. Um, gotta say the 990V3s, they're pretty lightweight and a good kind of all-around shoe. Very lightweight and you can wear it practically all day. So be looking maybe in the fall to bust those out. It's a Titan Slowpoke. Another Gafefe Jump Luff. You know, I've been trying to get um, Japanese cards just because it's Seems to be a good position to hold longer term in comparison to English, but it's been impossible to get from you know, like before you kind of sign in within the first couple days and you'd be able to secure some product, but now it's like a matter of seconds and you're sell selling out. So, I haven't been able to get anything like. V-Star Universe, which is the Japanese equivalent to Crown Zenith. I thought by now they'd be kind of sitting on the Pokemon Center Japan website for you to buy as many as you want, and that just hasn't happened yet. Ooh, another Iono. I think that's my second copy. Ooh, and what is this? Arctabax. Lamora. Well, um, that is a Kamiya artwork, which is another artist that I am starting to be a bit more fond of. I think uh, something that is a little bit slept on is the Galarian Slow King alternative art from Chilling Rain which features the same artist, Camille. Um, you know, alternative arts are, I think, being a little bit uh, price manipulated. And with all of the alternative arts trending up, that was one that slowly trended up as well. But I was lucky to get two copies of that before that really fully realized, and I'm happy to be holding on to that. And look at this, a gold Chen Pao, this shivery chill. That's a nice card, low kicks and another energy. So with the gold hit, that might be the last noteworthy one, because uh, you know, they generally say per booster box, you get one of the kind of higher end hits, maybe a second, which is uh, my Meow Scarda, I guess you could say. So as we kind of trail into the end here, might just be not much left in terms of noteworthy hits here. As you know, real wiggly tough. High grade on Tyranitar. And I think Tyranitar is one of the illustrator rares as well. And I think uh, 
it is a fan favorite, right? Like it's a Pokemon that's kind of in homage to Godzilla. So who doesn't like a monster or monster like a Pokemon? And then, you know, if we're talking kind of later Sword and Shield block alternative arts, you know, Tyranitar is the one that brought it back after a, a little hiatus after Sun and Moon. Ty the Sleepy Tyranitar, which I was so lucky to hit, but unfortunately got a PSA 9 in that. Orangaroo, Watrill, Hoppip, Sarulege. Uh, the sleepy tar, as the community calls it, is going to be one that we all look back at fondly. Um, I don't know what the price movement on that is, but I'm sure one being a nine isn't going to really creep up that quickly for some years. Gyarados, ooh, and a Slowking EX. I like Slowking. Uh, he's a little bit of a goofy looking Pokemon with the, the hat on, but like I was just saying, the Galarian version of it, that Kamiya artwork is one that I wouldn't mind picking up a few extra copies of it. I do have faith in that one just because art is very nice and it hasn't really uh, taken off yet compared to some of the other Chilling Rain cards. Sudowoodoo. Well, I think this card has a alternate art in this set too. Vigoroth, Kumbi, Palmut. Last two packs. Ooh, this went by quick. Time flies when you are having fun. Sand, Raichu, Gothamil, Heracross, Reversal Energy, oh, and one more hit, Lycanroc. Then, last pack, oh, this guy is Skellerdurge, <laughs> however you pronounce it. I guess, uh, I'm going to have to look that up because I think I'm totally butchering it. But final pack of this opening until Obsidian Flame. I guess we'll come back with another video in three months. And that one is featuring Charizard, so we'll see that market turns out. Weevil and Corviknight. And a, finally another Gyarados. So that concludes our um, Paldea Evolved opening. We got three, six, nine, exactly 12 hits. Uh, six hits per half of the box. Um, I think that's about average. I'm pretty happy with my hits. Um, of course, I didn't get the Iono, but a um, few notable ones and definitely some to go into my personal collection. So until next time, um, this is it. Happy ripping and 
either I'll see you locally playing my Mew deck or maybe we'll get the honor of playing each other on Pokemon Trading Card Game Live.